morning. It's uh, almost 5 a.m. and we've got a 14 and a half hour drive ahead of us to Lawrenceville, Georgia for the Something Wicked Film Festival. So it's time to hit the road. All right, and here we are at zero kilometers traveled. See how it is in 14 hours. Crossing the bridge between Canada and the United States. All right, we've just crossed the border into the United States of America. And on the left here, we have Buffalo, New York. Our first, well, we're not stopping, but our first uh, American city we'll be going through. Take exit seven on right to route five west. Well, I still haven't got my coffee this morning, so you can't see it, but this Canadian found a Tim Hortons in Buffalo. So we gotta drive down this road, the I-90, for the next 100 kilometers. For now, we're in the woods, passing this sign that says, Big Indian Smoke Shop, Pennsylvania. All right, I just had to make an emergency stop here driving through Pennsylvania. Good place to stop here. We stopped at the KNC's Corner Kitchen. That's it behind me. And I got a delicious ice cream. Banana pudding ice cream. You can see we've now traveled 682.4 kilometers. Still in West Virginia, but the rain just started coming down really hard. This is quite a drive. We've driven 925.8 kilometers. It's almost four o'clock. We left the, the house at 5 a.m. this morning. I'm starting to feel it. The heart of a mountain. This looks like an underground highway in the middle of a, the middle of a city. A quick stop at the Virginia Welcome Center for a pee break. And now back on the road. I'm feeling this. I've never driven this long in one day. And I don't think I'm gonna do it again. 1,023.6 kilometers travel. You can see the mountains go straight up on either side of us. Because this uh, hill is so steep, they've got a couple of these we've passed so far. Here's one here. That right there, see this on the right, that white road, that is a runaway truck ramp. So if your truck is out of control, you can steer onto that and it'll stop you from rolling. We have just crossed into North Carolina. It's now seven o'clock. 14 hours, We've traveled 1,238.2 kilometers, and uh, we're almost at the first leg of our trip. We made it on our first stop. We stopped at my uncle's place who lives along the way, and uh, tomorrow morning we'll grab the final leg into Lawrenceville, and it'll be festival time. Oh. My body's really sore. I'm very tired. So I'm going to bed. Good night. Good morning. We are on the second leg of our trip. The festival starts tonight, so we're gonna to try to get to our accommodations by early afternoon. And the view is just amazing. It's like driving through Middle Earth. just passed a sign that said welcome to North Georgia. I think we got it on video, but I'm not sure. Anyway, we are now in the state of Georgia. Turn right on setting highway southwest. Okay. 
And here we are in Lawrenceville, Georgia. 1,640.2 kilometers driven. Welcome to Lawrenceville, Georgia. I well, just got settled in here in the Airbnb. It's a simple uh, little room. Let's see, it's a bed with stuff. Yeah. About to get myself ready. And then we're going to head over but tonight. There's a opening remarks, there's a party, there's a live band, and a screening. So, should be fun. I'm really tired though. Looks okay. We're ready. Good morning. It's uh, Saturday morning, the second day of the festival. Uh, I guess first official day of, of screenings. Uh, we've got a few hours to kill before we head over, so we decided to check out the Mall of Georgia. Let's see what it's like. Looks big. Uh, 842 and uh, that means that my film Kessler syndrome is about to screen for the public in about 18 minutes we went had a little break before screening time so we popped over to IHOP and I had some delicious pancakes and I think I confused the waitress because I was like what's sweet tea and I had to explain that I'm not of this land. She brought me like a little sample of it. It's pretty tasty. I liked it. And so she brought it to me and then I checked the bill and uh, they didn't charge me for my sweet tea. So 
I guess that was a a welcome a welcome to Georgia gift. So thank you very much for the sweet tea. It was very good. So uh, I'm gonna go back into the theater. I'm gonna grab a seat, and uh, let's see how it goes. I'm in the screening room now. It's about to happen. Here we go. Well, I'm back at the Airbnb. Pretty awesome night. So, Kessler Syndrome is now being publicly screened. Got a nice round of applause, which felt quite nice. A few of the guys who I met at the director's panel showed up to my screening as well, which was pretty neat. And, uh... We'll be back at the theater again tomorrow for the sci-fi panel and the award ceremony. And of course, I'm going to take in some films. So it's been a fun festival. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Day three, last day. And now we're checking out the outlet malls. This is uh, Sugarloaf Mills Outlet Mall. So let's see what they got. from home. Hello, friend. More friends from home. How's it going, guys? This mall is amazing. It has a movie theater. There's a Taekwondo studio. There's a Medieval Times in the mall. There's an airsoft gun battle place. What else did I see? Oh, and a slot car racing store. It's like an amusement park. They got glow in the dark mini pot too. Trampoline place? You got a trampoline basketball? I want to move in here. Where's the trigger? Hey. When the sun goes down. All right, we're back at the theater. There's a sci-fi block about to play at one o'clock, so we're gonna take in a couple short films. All right, I think five or six of them. Here we go. straight through my room and just read the books, I couldn't put them down. And then I remember at the time I was delivering papers, and I was envisioning that I would make the Lord of the Rings movie. And I remember when they announced that those were going to come out, I was upset that some of them But, uh, I mean, I forgive you because I, I love the movie. We're talking about science fiction and fantasy, and what a way to wrap up all of our panels the 2017 Sunday Wicked Film Festival. Hey, if you missed it this year, we're going to be back in a year. Make sure you mark your calendars right now, and we will see you in 2018. I know I speak for myself and the staff at Something Wicked that it has been an absolute pleasure to have presented to you such a wide array of films. Our festival judge and jury had to pour over over 100 submissions, and we've chosen an amazing selection of shorts and features that exhibited the qualities that stand out as high achievements in filmmaking and elements that display craft and technique, both in acting categories and technical ones. Now, on to our main awards this evening. All right, the nominees for Best Science Fiction Short Film are Kessler Syndrome. by Thomas Jordan. The Loner, produced by Lenny Uto. Vision Room, produced by Philip Stanstate. FTL, produced by Todd Giroux. And the award goes to 
The winner of the best science fiction short film goes to Kessler City. movie. Uh, they all work for free for a lot longer than I initially said they would have to work. <laughs> and most of all, I have to thank my, my mom who's right there and my dad as well. <laughs> On this film, they were both in the movie, they were the crew, they were the craft services table, they provided the studio, they did everything, and then she came with me all the way on the 18-hour drive to be here. So. <laughs> Well, I didn't expect this. So my film one best sci-fi short I'm in a very good mood right now I mean this is this is my first movie so I I wanted to keep the expectations extremely low for it my goal was just to get it done and get it out there and, and that in itself was the accomplishment to have been accepted in the festival was huge and to get nominated was huge and I really 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 didn't think that you know there was even a chance of this and then they called out my film thank you to the something wicked film festival for taking an interest in my film for uh, putting it in your festival for screening it for an audience and for recognizing me with this award. That's all I'm going to say about it right now. But this was a good night. It'll make the 18 hour drive tomorrow a little less painful. Good night. <laughs>